Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Joanna. Hello, hello, Carla. How are you today? Hello. Hello, hello Carla. Hello. Good okay. evening, everybody. Okay, hello, Brian. Thank you for joining us. Teacher, tomorrow is the last day? No, it's next week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, what is everybody? Mm -hmm. What is everybody? Just Joanna, Carla, and Brian? Hmm. What is everyone? Okay. Sorry. Okay. Hi. Hi, Everything. Brian. How are you, Brian? Fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Joanna, how are you today, Joanna? How was your day, Joanna? Very, very basic teacher. I am in my work in my work. Oh, now? Oh, now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This uh, a presentation, uh, the report, uh, uh, finally, finally to much. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, I hope uh, you do a great job. Yeah. Welcome, Pame. Welcome, Carlos. Welcome, Osmel. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let me see. What is everyone? Why is it that nobody is today here? Yeah, it was just me, Joanna, and Carla. And then Brian, and then Osmel, and then Pame. Okay, and then Carla. And now it's, oh, and, and now is what? Um, Who's gonna, oh, Eric. Mm -hmm. hello F? hello hello okay uh welcome welcome everyone uh how are you Pame? i'm really good okay okay thank I you hope, for asking i hope you are <laughs> <laughs> okay so carlos how are you carlos i'm very sleepy <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, you told me that yesterday night. You were very sleepy. Okay. All right. So, um, antes de que comencemos, eh, voy a dar unas direc una, uh, directions. I'm going to give you some uh, indicaciones. Indicaciones acerca de mañana. Como ustedes saben, eh, el día martes, sí, el día martes, no, perdimos la, se la sección del día martes, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, para poderla recuperar, como ustedes saben, El, el módulo no termina mañana. I don't know who told you that. Porque sé que, creo que alguien les mandó ahí, me pareció ver en el chat, que alguien les decía de que terminaba el 4 de febrero. And I was like, what? How? How in the world? No sé, hay algún medio confusión ahí. I don't know. That, that, no sé cómo está ese detalle ahí. Pero el módulo no termina mañana. El módulo termina el 10 de febrero. Por lo tanto, hay tiempo todavía para que hagan el examen final. Y sé que alguien les estaba pidiendo, me pareció ver en el chat, que alguien les estaba pidiendo la sección número 5 cuando no hemos hecho la sección número 5. Uh -huh. es, más, es más, en el calendario, la sección número 5 se va a hacer hasta la próxima semana. Como les digo, creo que es una confusión ahí que eh, no sé qué está pasando, pero don't worry, ¿ok? So this week is only section number four. So next week, we are going to work on section number five, and then we're going to have the final exam. Okay? Eso es todo. So no confusion. Okay, the thing is, como el día martes no pudimos estar, mañana vamos a salir. Si no, nos va a tocar estar el próximo viernes. And I, I'm pretty sure you don't want to be here next Friday. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we need to finish the the first section today or tomorrow. Well, this week, this week. As far as I know, it's this because, week. Because uh, mm, someone sent a message that mm -hmm. we need to finish the the four section for tomorrow nine a.m. I think. Ah, so. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow nine a nine a.m. Okay. I yeah. guess you can. You can still uh you still have time if you haven't done it yet. You can you uh you can work on that tomorrow in the morning before 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
So, uh, so tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be Friday. Please don't let me alone. I'm going to be waiting for you here at the same time at 9 p.m. I know, I know you like party a lot. And I'm pretty sure tomorrow we're planning to attend parties. So do not let me alone. Come to class. Too you... much COVID. Too much COVID right now. Oh, that's what I heard. So I, I hope no, you have a chiquito teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. And, and I know many of you are saying like, thanks God, it's Friday, T-G-I-F. But tomorrow you cannot say that, okay? Because tomorrow you have classes. And I have classes too, yeah. okay? So, um, and para, para poder solventar eh, la clase que, que no pudimos tener el martes, esa clase la vamos a tener mañana, ¿ok? All right, okay. so, uh, voy a mandar un anuncio al grupo porque igual, eh, no sé si se van a unir todos, si no se unen hoy, pues voy a darles el anuncio mañana ahí en el chat. Ok, so, good. So, thank you, uh, thank you, Sandra, thank you, uh, let me see, Walter, for joining us. Okay, let's go to the topic. I hope today you learned a lot. And uh, I'm not going to be uh, explaining something new. Uh, and by the way, the last day of every uh, week, we have, wait, give me a second. We have a review. And since tomorrow, we're going to be reviewing tomorrow section number four. All right. Okay. So today, the topic is how long have you studied English? That's the question that I have. And as you know, uh, two days ago, we were working with uh, the present perfect. Yesterday, okay, uh, let me move on to that one later. What is the objective that I have for you today? A student will be able to use sentences using the present perfect to express ideas about a activities they have done. Okay, let me ask you that question. What do you remember from yesterday's class? What was the topic that we worked on yesterday? Food. Food. Frequency yes. adverbs. Frequency adverbs. Mm. Connection. The first the, one. The, sequence yeah. adverbs. Connection. The, the work. Yeah. Sequence adverb, okay? Ah, because yeah. Frequency <laughs> of adverbs are like always, never. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I get confused. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sequence of adverbs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Can you tell a sentence using sequence adverbs? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a sentence? Um. After this class, I'm going to go to bed. Okay, good. After, after, good. Yes, anyone else? Thank you, Pame. Anyone? Um, Hello? Finally? Finally. I'm sold. <laughs> Wait. Finally, you're single. Finally, oh, I'm sold. At the soup. <laughs> okay. Finally, add salt to the soup. Good job. Good job. Good job. Someone else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? What yep. does that mean? I didn't get the oh, idea. Finally, add salt. Salt. Ah, okay, okay. Salt to the soup. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Aha, who else? ¿Por qué están bien callados hoy? What First of all. Aha. Me, Eric. First of all, I'm going to read an English book. Okay, first of all, I'm going to read an English book. Good. Thank you. Alejandro Ernesto. Then. Oh, smell. Then working today, I am tired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Alejandro. Alejandro, are you there? Somebody has music there. That's Osmel. Osmel is listening to music. <laughs> <laughs> he has a good reggaeton over there, I guess. Mm -hmm. Brian, thank you, Brian. Thank you. I know you want to participate. Firstly, is correct. Teacher? Is that La Yepeta or what is that song? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My son has <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, go okay. to dance, teacher. <laughs> I wish I can dance, but no, no, my baby can get up, so I don't want him to wake up. <laughs> okay, Brian, yeah, Brian. Yeah, it's a little bit cold here, and in addition, I feel a little bit sick, and I lose a contact lenses right uh, these days, so for that reason, I'm using this, this uh, lens, and I can see very well. And finally, <laughs> I feel so tired, so I hope to go to the bed after this class. Oh, yeah, you better say that. Okay, que bueno que ha dicho after this class, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, let me see. Carla says, eventually, uh, I had just woken up. I'm fresh out of ideas. Eventually, I read a book. Okay, good. All right, so thank you. Okay, what we're going to do as a warm up activity? It's, I think about. I think about, okay, that's the activity that we're gonna do right now. Mm, think about one thing, object, fruit, or country. Describe it as clear as possible. Your classmates will need to guess what you are describing, okay? The one who guesses gets a point. That's an activity, uh, that's a fun activity. It's not a real activity giving points, right? No, 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 no. Okay, that, <laughs> this is just an activity so that you can say, hey, I got one point. Hey, I got two points. Okay. All right. Mm. So one more time. Think about one thing, object, fruit, country, etc. Describe it as clear as possible. And then we are going to describe the, um, the thing. And if I guess correctly, I get a point. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Who wants to start right now? Can get a comment up. Who wants to start? Okay, Pame, describe one thing and then let's see if we can guess what you are describing. It can be literal, middle B. It's alive. Um, you can touch it. Sometimes it can bite you. Uh, not always happen. Um, what else? Are, they are in many colors. What else can I say? Um, they are, co I are, are from the, the, <laughs> I don't, we, we saw a lot of them in the city. Also in the the little towns around El Salvador, mm, you always see one near the cathedral. <laughs> but I, I mean, I, I'm trying to describe something, but not too easy. <laughs> uh, some families have one, two, or three in their houses. The dubs? Mango. Dubs? Yeah, dub. Okay, Walter got at one point. Good, Walter. Good, good. <laughs> okay, someone else. Okay. Mm -hmm. Describe it. Walter, your turn. Thank you, Walter. Uh, it's acid. Could be a uh, green color or 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 yellow. Sour is the 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 right word. Acido. Yeah, sour. Sour. What is that? Sour. 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 Is that sour. Word? Yeah. Um, it's a yellow, and frequently you you frequently could be it eventually, and you can buy it in supermarket in the town and several places. I know. Naranja. Mango. Naranja. It's orange. It's orange. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who said that? Orange. Orange. Oh, smell. So, oh, smell. Good. Okay. Who else? Eneida, describe your item. Eneida. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Eneida. Okay. Is um for out is brown. Have a big sim or como se llama? Sim. Sive. 
Seed. S-E-E-D. Seed. A seed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's a big and large. Okay. Uh -huh. You can see um, a lot of... Uh, ¿Cómo sería? Tamaños. Sizes. 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 Uh -huh. Sizes. And it's uh, sweet, delicious. And uh, for in, for dentro, in. Inside, is, inside, inside. Inside is orange. Okay. The, does, uh -huh. any, does anyone know that? It's a pote. Yes. Really? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, Walter. Good. Okay, another How one. Zapote. How do you say Zapote? Zapote, it's a tropical name uh, from El Salvador. So, you know, there are some, some names that are common in some countries. For example, uh, yuca, you are not going to find yuca uh, in English. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I've been asking, like, for example, I remember once a friend of mine, he's from, from the United States, and then I asked him, like, hey, look, here in El Salvador, we call this yuca. <laughs> How do you call that in the United States? He said, we don't eat that. What's that? And then I told him that it was a root. Root. Oh, yes. Una raíz, porque yuca es una raíz. Mm -hmm. Root. And it's like, we have never tried that. We haven't seen that before. So, it's like something typical from these areas. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, uh, okay. okay. Who... Root could be like a jicama. Could be. Jicama. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Jicama, it's a root. Yeah. So, and, and believe it or not, we eat roots. Yeah. Like, 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 uh, like a lot of animals <laughs> do. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, somebody else. Who else? It's my turn. Okay, good. Okay, this is brown. It is small. Uh, inside, it's green. You can eat it. Uh, it's soft. It has like a uh, set. Sets, right, Samia? Oh, seeds. 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 Okay, seeds. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's super delicious. Kiwi. Kiwi, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kiwi, yeah. I, I couldn't <laughs> believe it. Okay, okay, good. Kiwi. All right, one more, one more. Let me see one more. A volunteer? Yeah. Okay. Me no me okay, Joanna, go okay. ahead, Joanna. Um, my, uh, this, this fruit is uh, my favorite. Uh, it, it is um, the color green, red. In, in orange uh, and it's uh, acid no sé cómo se dice so, so. Uh, uh, sauce uh -huh. and sweet um mango crunchy, mango. crunchy mango. Uh, very rich no <laughs> very rich in <laughs> vitamin minerals and pure okay any guess mandarins <laughs> No. No, orange. <laughs> Apples. <laughs> Apples. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Thank good. you. Good. Yeah. good, good, good. So, like the saying says, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. Have you heard oh, that? Yeah. You heard that? One apple a day, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. Si, en otras palabras, si comes saludable, no estarás en los, visitando los doctores. Okay, something like that. Okay, so thank you for, um, thank you for uh, participating. I know you want to participate more, but because of the time, I need to move on. All right, so uh, two days ago, we were working with the simple present, I mean, simple uh, past, perf past perfect. And I could see that some of you are still having problems with the past participle, okay? All right, so if you see here, I have past participle verbs. I have become, become, break, broken, bring, brought, buy, bought, do, done, draw, drawn, drink, drunk, 
eat, eaten, feel, felt, find, found, go, go. Listen, el sonido de, esta, de este verbo es go, go, no go. Por ejemplo, muchos dicen, I go to school, I go to school. Es I go, I go to school. Okay. And the other one, uh, esto lo he escuchado muchas veces. Look, 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 look this part. Esa palabra, ¿la pueden ver? Can you see that word? You. Many of you, you uh, many of you, I have heard like many Jew, Jew, Jew go, Jew, Jew, Jew. It's not Jew, it's you. 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 Yeah, like you. Yeah, I got <laughs> like you. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's not, it's not Jew, Jew, Jew. And the thing is, why do we say Jew? It's because... Nosotros, el mismo español influye en el inglés. Nosotros sabemos que, por ejemplo, si vemos una Y, por ende se va a pronunciar yu, como por ejemplo, yuca. ¿Ok? Yo, yo, yucatán, yucatán. So that's why when we see a word with the letter Y as in you, pensamos en, la, en español y lo, lo pronunciamos igual. Por ejemplo, yu. Yu, 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 yu. It's not you. It's you. Okay? you. Yes. You. Yes. Pero yes. muchos decimos yes, 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 teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Claro. Teacher, hay una regla sobre eso, ¿no? No. With the pronunciation with the letter Y. It's not. Well, indeed, you don't, you don't, um, let me see, you don't actually read the letter Y. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yes. Sí. Yes. No. Es. Yes. 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 Okay. So let's continue. Have, had, hear, heard, keep, kept, read. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta palabra? Red. 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 Like the color, right? Like the red color. Mm -hmm. Like a uh, color, huh? Yes. Run. Yes. Run. Uh -huh. Run, 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 yeah. What about this one? Say, say, okay, said. listen, listen, said. Ha, said, said, como, oh my god, tengo said, said. tengo said, uh, yeah. there you go, said, okay, said. teach, I mean, see, 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 teach, touch, touch, touch. 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 Oh, okay, listen, listen. Yo no digo tau, yo no digo tau, tau. I said taught. Taught. I taught English tau. every, tau. every day, something like that. Sin. I taught. Sin. Yeah. And tau. the other one is bright. Great. Bright. Great. 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 Okay, good. Great. Okay. Great. All right. So go to the chat. Y por favor, I want you to give me uh, five different verbs beside this one. So that would be uh, a, a simple present and past participle. Please, five verbs. Go to the chat now. Different. <laughs> Como que sí. Okay, teacher, five verbs in present and past participle. Put food. Casi se me salí, se me puso, se me cambió la palabra. ¿Sabe cómo me había salido? <laughs> ok. 
Okay, uh, come, come, speak, spoke. Okay, listen, speak, spoke. Spoken. Hmm. Spoken, good. Spoken. Spoken. Okay, let me see the other one. Take, taken, come, come. Break, broken, okay. good. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, break, broken, swim, swam, swim, swam, okay, study, study it, uh -huh. okay, go, gone, yes. uh, okay, go, gone, uh -huh. find, found, good, find, found, okay, another one, okay, I guess, drink, drunk, okay, good, okay, why am I asking you to remember past participle verbs? It's because, remember, every time we are using the present perfect, listen, we need what? We need the subject, like the past I. Participle. Yeah, and we need the auxiliary verb have or has, and, and then we need the past participle of the verb. But for example, look, I have seen her. You have seen her. Okay, he has seen her. All right, this is the positive. What about the negative? I have not seen her. We haven't seen her. He has not seen her. Right, so that means that when we are using the present perfect, we need the past participle of the verb. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Okay. So let me see. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. I have how many participants? Okay, Brian, you are going to do number one. Oscar, number two. Carla number three, Eric, number four, uh, Carlos, Jose, number six, Cristobal, number seven, uh, let me see, Sandra Sanchez, number eight, Alejandro Ernesto, number nine, and Maria Corea, number 10, okay? Estamos listos? Are we ready? Yes. Okay, number one. Uh oh, number one. <laughs> okay, ¿quién es número uno? Who has number one? Brian. Brian, are you there? I have to start French. I'm sorry, Brian, we, keep, we couldn't hear you. Uh, can you do? Oh, I guess it's your microphone. I guess I don't know. It might be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, uh, can you can you type in the chat? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me right now? Yes. 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 So what is number one? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. I have to start the French. Okay. Good. Number two. Number two. She. She has eight octopus. She has what? Eden. Eden. Yes. Good. She has eaten a atten, como dice, eaten octopus. Number three, ¿qué tiene el número tres? ¿Qué tiene el número tres? Me. Uh, they have been to Scotland. Let's go Okay. <clears throat> good. Good, good. Number four. We have read that book. 
Good, good. Number five. Number five. Aquí en la línea número cinco. Okay, anyone, anyone else? Number five. Can I? Yes, yes, yes. He has lived here for three years. Oh, nice. He has lived here for three years. Good. Number six. You have knew David for 10 years. You have. You have no, what? No, no. Known. Yeah. No. Yeah. You have known. Yeah. You have known David for 10 years. Thank you, Carlos. Number seven. We have been here for two weeks. Awesome. Thank you. Number eight. I lost my case. I ha. Okay. Lost. Good. I have lost my keys. My keys. My keys. Okay, e. number nine. Number nine. She. Uh -huh. Can I do it? Okay. Yeah, sure. He has drunk too much coffee. Yeah. And then uh, we are super high. Mm -hmm. Well, we had drunk too much coffee. Yep. He has. Faking has. Yeah, he has drunk too much coffee. And the last one, number 10. They okay. have missed the train. The train. Good. Thank you, Maria Correa. They mm -hmm. have missed the train. All right. So, um, as you know, also we can ask questions with the present perfect. Just exactly the way we learned two days ago. Right? Not, not two days ago, but uh, two classes ago, I would say. So when you have questions is, have you, have you seen her? Have you ever seen her? Have we seen her? Has he seen her, etc. right? And remember, the same way you have been asked is the same way you are going to answer, okay? For example, if you are asked, do you like pupusas? Of course, you're going to say, yes, I do, or no, I don't, right? Simple present. Yes. Yeah. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, aquí le hacen la pregunta, look, have you seen her? Yes. Yes. I, I have. I have. Yeah. Okay. Do not say, yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> Porque la pregunta okay. no es con do, sino que es con have. Okay? So, in mm -hmm. other words, in other words, the same way uh, that the person uses with the auxiliary is the same way that you are going to answer. As you can see, the same have is the same that you used to answer. The same that you used to ask is the same that you used to answer, right? For example, has she seen her? Yes, she has. Has. Okay, está claro eso? Yes. yes. Okay, and the same happened with, um, with the negative as well, see? Okay, look, uh, wait, wait a second. All right, ahora let's move on to the next one. Scene some four. When do we use seeing Sam for? That's a good question. Okay, I need a volunteer to read the one blue. Can I? Can I? Uh, maybe Walter, uh, the, the, the blue, and Eneida was you or Joanna? Who was the yes, one? Yes, I. Eneida. Eneida for la que dijo yo, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, 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 blue, okay, okay. Neda. So Neda, uh, the one in yellow, and Walter, the one in blue, light blue. Okay. Season four. Note the difference between season four. Since plus point in time. Five o'clock yesterday, last summer, uh, nineteen ninety six. He was a child. Thank you, four. Walter. Okay, uh, uh, four plus length of time. 
10 minutes to days, three decades, many decades. years, long, decades, I'm sorry, decades, many years, a long time. Okay, good. So why am I bringing since and for? Because sometimes when we are using the present perfect, mm -hmm, we use since, and please do not say signs, signs. It's common, okay? No worries, okay? It's because for some reason, our brain keeps saying signs, signs, signs. It's not signs, it's signs, okay? So um, we can say signs and for. So, but how can we differentiate the use of signs and the use and for? Simply, when I use scenes, I mention the point in time the point in time, all right? For example, uh, I have been here since five o'clock. Yeah. Yo he estado aquí desde las cinco en punto, since five o'clock. I have been here since yesterday, desde ayer, since yesterday. Okay, let's go to the next one. I have been here since last oh. summer. I have been here since 1996. And I have been here since he was a child. If you see, when I use since, I'm mentioning the point in time. A what, specific point. Like, exactly, uh -huh. exactly. What about for? For, on the other hand, mention not at a specific point, but what? A period. A period of uh, time. Uh -huh. Okay? Remember, quantity. since es un punto. Since. Cuando mm -hmm. comenzó algo. Okay? The other one is, no es un punto, sino que es un periodo de tiempo. Por cuánto tiempo? Okay. Okay, hagámoslo con el primero. I have been here for 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yo he estado aquí por 10 minutos. Hey, ¿cuánto, cuánto tiempo me has esperado? Oh, yo he estado aquí por 10 minutos, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Y el otro era, yo he estado aquí desde las 5 en punto. Desde uh -huh. las 5 en punto por 10 minutos. Okay. I have been here for two days. Two days. Oh, man, te estaba esperando por dos días. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Where have you been? Okay, I have been here for three decades. ¿Sí ven? Periodo de tiempo. Cuando utilizo for, estoy utilizando un periodo de tiempo. Puede ser semanas, horas, días, etc. Okay. Oh, I have been here for a long time. Okay, go. Next. Yes. Yes, Anaida. What is the meaning length? Length. Uh, like a period of time. Un periodo de tiempo. Distancia. Length. Distancia. Okay. Solo que no es lo mismo de distance. Okay? Distance es como, digamos, mm -hmm. un metro, dos metros, tres metros. Physic, es like tiempo. something physic. Uh -huh. Yeah. En length es como un periodo de algo. Algo uh, abstracto. Uh -huh. Un periodo de algo abstracto. Okay. Sí. Lo mismo que les decía anteriormente. Sí. Force and since. Since, cuando utilizamos since, we are using one specific period of time. Okay, starting point. Y cuando utilizamos for, ahí está for aquí, miren, for, let me see. Cuando utilizamos for, yes, utilizamos un periodo de tiempo, ¿sí? Oh, en Aida, okay. yes, en Aida. Uh -huh. And this presentation is very interesting. And okay. can I send tomorrow, please? Okay. Um, I can send it to you tomorrow. The thing is, um, I don't know if I'm going to be busy tomorrow in the morning, but I, I'm going to do my best. But send me a text uh, in the group and ask for the presentation okay. so that I can share. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. So... Let's, uh, let's review a little bit. Cuando utilizamos since, when I'm mentioning, 
¿Cuándo comenzó algo? Un periodo de tiempo, ¿sí? Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Comenzó o desde 2012. ¿Cuándo utilizamos for? Cuando estoy mencionando un periodo de tiempo, ¿sí? ¿Sí? Un periodo de tiempo, ¿sí? Ok. Look this one. I have been living in Japan since 2012. He estado viviendo en Japón desde que? Desde 2012. Okay. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. Teacher, he, uh, this word only used in this, in this, in this uh, time. Uh, you mean like a tense? Present perfect? Tense, sorry. Yeah. For and well, since only used in this tense. Okay, uh, <clears throat> are specific for that tense? For this no, tense. with the tenses, with the different tenses, uh, mm -hmm. with the perfect tense, because tenemos verdad, tenemos present tense and present perfect, yeah, yeah, past perfect, past continuous yeah. perfect, present continuous perfect. So, uh, any type yeah. of perfect, 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 we can use since and for. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Por ejemplo, yeah. le voy a decir una, una que va con present perfect uh, continuous. Mm -hmm. uh, aquí está. Bien. I have been living in Japan. Uh -huh. Esa es un present perfect Continu continuous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok. Yes. Ok. ¿Y cuál sería un pasado perfecto continuo? Pero no los quiero confundir con eso. ¿verdad? Sería... I have been living in Japan since 2012 when something happened. Okay. All right. But now let's focus right now on the present perfect. Okay. Okay. Look, look at this example. I studied English in Ireland for two years. Or I have studied English in Ireland for two years. Okay. Anytime you use for, Anytime you use for in any tense, in any tense, um, they are going to refer to a period of time, duration of time. Sin embargo, cuando utilizamos since, es cuando mencionamos cuando comenzó algo. ¿Ok? ¿Está más claro ahí? Por ejemplo, look, for 10 minutes, for 8 hours. Este es, este es qué? Periodo de tiempo. ¿Sí? Y esto es qué? Cuando comenzó algo, ¿sí? Since 8 o'clock, since Monday, since February. Are we clear? ¿Estamos claro ahí? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Next, let's move on. Uh, let's see. Okay. Now we are going to practice questions. Let me see. How long have you practiced English? Go to the chat and answer question number one. How long have you practiced English? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Uh, let me see. Question number one. I have studied French. Mm, okay. Let me see. Okay. Com okay. Give me a complete sentence, please. A complete sentence. Okay. No estoy diciendo que este, este es mal, ¿verdad? Solo quiero ver cómo lo están utilizando. Okay. Pero quiero que me den la respuesta completa. Okay. Thank you. Good, good. Vamos a ver. How long have you studied English? Okay, let me see the chat. Let me see the chat. Let me see. Since I have used my mind. Really? Really, Pame? Since I have memory. Whoa, okay. Okay, good. Vamos a ver. Eric, I have practiced English since... 2021, since last year. Okay, good. Nice. I have practiced English for two years. Good. 
Uh, Cristobal, I have practiced English since 2018. Thank you. Joanna, I have been. Mm, ok, um, Joanna, la pregunta es, Joanna, ¿cuánto tiempo tiene de haber aprendido eh, el inglés? Oh, sorry, ok, yeah. ok. How, how long have you practiced? Uh -huh. Let me see. Pame says, I have been. Pra I have been. Ok, uh, Pame, if you uh -huh. are using the present perfect continuous, esa oración iría, I have been practicing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, because I don't uh, end that, that, that action. I mean, yeah. I am still mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. you are doing that in progress. I have practiced, and Aida says, I have practiced English for three years. Thank you, Aida. Maria Correa, I have practiced English for one year. Good. Good, 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 good. Let me see. Carlos, I don't know. I remember that when I was a child, I used to read a library's dictionary since 2007, but formally only for three years, I guess. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, okay, Joanna, let me see. Joanna had practiced English since, hmm. Okay, Joanna. Eh, pregunto, Joanna. Seis meses. Seis meses es, es un inicio de tiempo o un periodo de tiempo, Joana? Seis meses. Es eh, periodo. O oh, si es un periodo de tiempo, entonces voy a yes. utilizar for. since or for. For. Ah, oh, okay, good. Okay. Thank you. Remember? Okay, thank you. Uh -huh, when we are using a period of time, I'm going to use for. But if I'm not going to use a period of time, if I'm going to use only when something started, cuando algo comenzó, I'm going to use since, okay? Okay, Osmeal says, I have practiced English since last year in this platform. Oh, really, Osmeal? Nice. Carla Jovel, I have practiced English for two years. Okay, nice, very nice. Okay, vamos a la siguiente pregunta. Second question. How long have you lived in El Salvador? Question number two. Si, si están viviendo en El Salvador, ¿verdad? Si no están viviendo en El Salvador, uh, type in there. Question number two. How long have you lived in El Salvador? Teacher, quick question. That is going to be... For example, I'm living in El Salvador. It's going to be continuous because I not stop living or... Either one is correct because the meaning is the same. For example, I have lived in El Salvador for my entire life. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have been living in El Salvador for my entire life. So both are the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, let's go to the chat and see. I have lived here since... 1978, okay. Uh, let's see, uh, Mario, I have lived in El Salvador for 38 years. Okay. Uh, Carlos Jose, uh, since 2000, I was born here. Okay, Brian, I have lived in El Salvador since 1997. Good. Let me see. Um, I have- I have one minute. I have lived here in El Salvador for 35 years. Okay, thank you, Ismael. Um, let me see. Uh, Eric, I have lived in El Salvador since 1985. Cristobal, I have been living in El Salvador since uh, 1992. Thank you. Pame, I'm, I have... I'm missing the D. Oh, oh no, that's present. fine. That's fine. I have lived in El Salvador for 20, uh, for 20 years. Okay, good. Uh, let me see, Joanna. Yes, I live in El Salvador. Okay, uh, Joanna, eh, remember what I said, Joanna? Que si cuando, por ejemplo, si alguien les pregunta en presente perfecto, ustedes tienen que contestar en presente perfecto. Si alguien les pregunta en simple present, you can use in simple present, okay? La, the question is how long have you lived? 
So, so uh, the answer could be, uh, yes, I have lived in El Salvador for 41, 41 years. Okay, Joanna? Okay. Great to share. Thank you. Okay, okay. Maria Correa, I have lived, I have lived for 35 years. Okay. Uh, I was man, I have lived in El Salvador since 1986. All right. So, okay, good. Thank you. Next, number three, I want you to complete that, set, that question. Now you are not going to answer a question. You are going to ask a question. How long have you, have you what? Mm -hmm. Work. How long have you gotten married? Okay, good question. Thank you, Walter. <laughs> A ver, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más? Ok, hagan una pregunta. How long have you, have you what? Walter says, how long have you gotten married? Good. Ok, type in the chat. How long have you, how long have you worked in the company? Good question. How long have you dri uh, driving a car? Good question. Os Osman, how long have you worked? Mm -hmm. um, uh, John jo Kong, have you worked there? Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Joanna, how long have you... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, why they, uh, let me ask. Uh, okay, I need help. Who can help me in Joanna's um, question? ¿Quién me puede ayudar ahí en la, en la oración de Joanna? Who can help me? Will be, how long have you traveled to Paris? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Travel. okay, travel. Okay. Thank you, Walter. Okay, uh, remember that we're using the past participle, okay? Yes. Okay, Carlos, how long have you baked? Okay, good. Okay, Cristóbal, how long have you lived in the United States? Pame, how long have you worn the same t-shirt? Many times, believe me. <laughs> Brian Cepeda, <laughs> how long have you studied in the university? Good, 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 good. Okay, okay. So, good, que good questions. I, I could see that you I had a very good questions. Okay. So the wrap up activity, we have five minutes to go to, to finish today's lesson. I will ask you to write three sentences using the present perfect with since and for. Tres oraciones, ya sea utilizando since or using for. In the chat, please. Mm -hmm. Question and answer. Yes. Okay. No, 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 no. It could be question. It could be a simple sentence. But I would like you to use either since or for. Quiero ver si se maneja el since and for. Okay. Eric says, my mom had, okay, let me see. My mom have cooked for 35 years. She has been in the United States since 2015. Good. I have worked since 2011. Okay, Osmel, no necesita mencionar eh, eh, years. Okay, Osmel? Only the, 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 the number. I have worked since 2011. Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. Thank Mame, you. I have been working in my company since August 2021. Carla Jovel, he has been with me for three years. Okay. I have had my car for 10 years in that case. Yes, you can say for 10 no, years. Okay. Yeah. Yes. ¿Por qué? Eh, ¿Por qué? Uh, allá dije no, ¿verdad? Dije no porque era since. En el caso. Ah, oh, yeah, I got it. Got it uh, yes. In your case, yes. uh, Walter, because yes. you're using four, you need to mention. Okay. okay. I live here. I have studied in the university since 2019. My brother has played uh, soccer since 2018. Good. 
I have been waiting for three hours, okay? What else? I have lived here for three months, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. Good. How long have you, okay, good questions. I have been waiting for three hours, okay? Let me see who else. Maria Correa, are you there, Maria Correa? Maria Correa. Okay. All right. Maria Correa, I guess he's not there. Okay, let me see. Uh, wow, a little question. Mm -hmm. Sorry, which is the, I mean, is there a, a verb for found, uh, fundado? Established. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah Thank yeah. you. Established. Okay, Brian says, I have worked since 2017. I have gone to Costa Rica for one month. Okay, good. Oh, smell. I have been here since yesterday. Uh -huh. Let me see, Carlos. I have read book since 27, 20, uh, 2007 because I love to read. I have learned to, uh, okay, to cook since um, 2011. My mom worked for 11 years for my sister. Okay. My family has been established since 1954. Wow, long time ago, more than 15 years old. Well, not old, but years. All right, okay, is there any question? Any question? No, by now. Okay, good. So now I can say, now I can say that we are very ready to use season four. Remember, just to conclude and to wrap up, we use things with a, with, with what? With a starting point, starting point, since we use for with a period of time. See, we use things with a starting point, starting point, see, starting point. And we use for, with a period of time, okay? For example, I have studied English for 10 years. That's a period of time. I have studied English since 2012. An example, see? Cuando comienza todo. Okay, is there any question? Question? If there is no question, do you have a question, Neida? Mm, no, teacher. Okay. Thank you. So thank you all for coming up, uh, for coming to the class today. I hope to see you tomorrow. And please don't let me alone tomorrow. I'm going to be waiting for you tomorrow here. Okay? Teacher, okay. I have a quick question for you. But I mean, it's a personal question. <laughs> but everyone can listen. The... the <laughs> The thing is that I I need your advice because I um, daily work with people not even speaking English. I noticed that my weak part is the grammar, but I noticed that I can talk fluently. I mean, and also I can listen a lot. I mean, all my conference, all my meetings are in English, but how can I improve this? You, you mean like the grammar pro, uh, grammatical problems? Yeah, yeah, because in in the all in the, the day, I'm not using like those compose or those compound sentences. I use oh. like mm -hmm. short mm -hmm. sentences, present, okay. present continuous. You mean like for, you mean like those kind of um, tenses like. If I if I were you, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. I would have gone that or something like that. You mean like uh -huh. that? For example, well, me is is also is not. It's not weird, but it's not typical that they use that also. Yeah, like for example, I regret to do that. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. Uh -huh. Something like that. Well, yeah. um, it depends on the context you are using the language. Okay, but I will recommend you if you feel like you are uh, one of your weaknesses, like that kind of grammar point, you just keep studying those grammatical points. Mm -hmm. Because okay. most, 
mostly we use the simple present, right? Uh -huh. We use the, the present perfect. But those kind of like, I, for example, this one, the future present perfect, for example, I will have bought a book, for example, or I will have been buying something like that. So mm -hmm. those are not very common, but, but people sometimes use it, but these are not very common. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, yeah. I, I guess if I were you, I would pay attention to those grammatical points and study them all over and over again until the point you manage all of them. Mm -hmm. And maybe try to put in practice during put my conversations. Right. Yeah, put them in practice. Yeah, okay. That's the thing. Because if you learn something new and if you don't put it in practice, definitely you're going to forget them all right mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So I Thank will you. see you tomorrow. Have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.